the all modern oscilloscopes have a very useful feature called triggering. So right now we can see there's a sine wave on the oscilloscope and it appears that it's locked in time or maybe it's frozen and it's not even moving or not. But it actually is a real time display. If I disconnect the input, you can see it goes to zero. If I reconnect it, it appears. So the, you know, the oscilloscope is measuring things continuously as I'm talking. So the reason the waveform doesn't move is because it's triggered to the refreshing of the screen. So what that means is that the screen redraws, you know, it redraws at a, at a standard rate, kind of like a, uh, you know, a television or a computer screen redraws, you know, usually somewhere between like 30 and 100 times per second. And it does it in such a way that the sine wave starts at the same phase each time it redraws the screen. So uh, an example is if I took the trigger off so that it wasn't actually locked anymore, you could see right here, the oscilloscope isn't triggering or redrawing at the same phase anymore. So it's giving us this random you know, uh, sine wave on there, which is really hard to view as a human. So when I turn this trigger knob right here, you can see the little arrow moving down on the right hand side of the oscilloscope screen. When the arrow is within the voltage range of the waveform, then it'll trigger on it. So that's a really useful feature. It's certainly something you want to do. So a lot of people, instead of using the trigger, like say they, you know, they have a waveform that what they call rolling there, they'll hit the stop button. And that's perfectly good. You know, this right here though is what we call like a, uh, it's in the past. It's not the present signal that's coming into the input of the oscilloscope. So that's great if you're trying to capture something and you don't want to see what's happening in real time. But say if I was debugging a circuit and the oscilloscope was on stop, you know, I wouldn't see what's going on. Like for example, I could pull the plug out here and nothing changes on there. So stop's a good thing, but having it triggered is a better option. So here I, I lower it down. You can see the little arrow over here is moving. And as soon as the arrow gets within the range of the waveform, it triggers and it's a lot easier to look at. Now my screen is updating in real time. So if I'm making any changes, say if I change the frequency on my function generator, you can see the frequency is going up right here. I'm seeing the effects in real time. 